Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some it's not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. So y'all, Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Um, word is y'all, them feds got some more information on another passing, y'all. Another body. They have more information on another body out of the blue. Who y'all think telling? I told y'all, I told y'all, they are giving up some big fishes right now, y'all. And these big fishes that they just gave up, allegedly, allegedly, okay, y'all, word on street. Mopta's name came up. Quavo name came up, okay, y'all. And Takeoff name just came up. So it ain't even just about Dolph anymore, y'all. This is about to get serious, y'all. This is about to get serious, and y'all know me. You know, when I get information from somebody and stuff like that, I go to the Gematria, I put the numbers in, and see what pops up. Because y'all, my day ones, twos, and threes, y'all already know I did um, takeoffs, Gematria. I had did it already, but I, have, I, I must got to go back. I had to go back, and when I went back, just to see was any of what I was being told lining up, it's lining up perfectly, y'all. Per perfectly y'all okay so um ask yourself this question did jay-z have something to do with take off being taken out y'all you gotta ask yourself this question because y'all i'm hearing some things now i'm gonna tell y'all what i heard because i ain't gonna make y'all wait okay but word on the street was that whole little shadingy which we saw was a setup it, it had to be a setup. You know what I'm saying? From before I even found out this little information right now. It had to have been a setup. Everybody said that. The people that was arguing didn't even get touched. The person that was chilling to the side, man, in his own business, he catch all the shells. Come on now, y'all. Use your brain. Okay? And Jaguar Wright, she said this. She said, Puffy is worse she said Puffy is worse. Um, not Puffy. Jay-Z is worse than Puffy. This is what Jaguar Wright said. She said he's way worse. And what I'm hearing right now is sad, it's sickening, and it don't make no sense. But, you know, when you're up of age and you know right from wrong, you have to make a choice. You You have to. You have to blame some of the people, too, for the people that they were being around as well. We're going to talk about it, y'all. Okay? Um, I'm hearing that Takeoff was taken out over a song, y'all. Over a song. Word on the street. This is what they're telling me. And this is what the feds know. This is what somebody told them. And they're doing some investigation on this now. So this is going to help out Takeoff's case. Because they're saying that Takeoff wrote a song for Jay-Z. And they said that Jay-Z is, and this is allegedly, y'all, I'm just letting y'all know that. They're saying that Jay-Z is known for being a genius. They act like he's a genius. He can just listen to a beat and then just write the lyrics and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, this is what he's known for. But... Um, a word on the street is take off embarrassed him, y'all, because he recorded, okay, the song that he wrote for Jay-Z and Beyonce, Ape Shittaka, okay, y'all, the song that he wrote, allegedly, 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 he recorded Jay-Z and Beyonce now practicing in a recording room, the song, trying to, you know, get the lyrics down to the, um, you know, the music. Okay, y'all? Um, 
I guess he, they was going to lie too and say, act like Jay-Z came up with that on his own and he was just going to pay, maybe wanted to just pay, you know, um, take off under the table. Because I heard that Takeoff wrote a lot of songs for people, y'all. So if he wrote that song, could he have wrote other songs for him too? Everybody that started dealing with Jay-Z, um, it seemed like it's a pattern of, and not, not just Jay-Z, but just these guys in general. Business-wise, it seemed like it's a no-no to do business with them. Seriously. Look at Nipsey. Look at everybody that called they stuff was trying to get their foot in the door with them a little bit. Look what happened. And word on the street is Cardi B. This is why her and, um, what's his name? Um, her, her guy. I forgot his name. This is why they keep getting into it. Because they need deep in it, y'all. They need deep in it. And she's kind of don't trust him. Because she think he might try to take her out, too. So she don't trust her guy. Her, her husband, y'all word on the street and i want y'all to pay attention to the fact that this makes all the sense in the world what i'm being told because look at who was at the brunch after um takeoff was taken out i'm just saying y'all offset wasn't he he was at the brunch afterwards and quavo just recently came out and said let his nephew rest in peace like he don't even want people to talk about it how you don't want people to talk about your your nephew? How do you not want people to want justice for your nephew? And he was showing us, too, the performances he did made, the songs he did made, everything that Quavo has done um, has let you know that that was for him to step up. But over a song, this is why Jay-Z allegedly, allegedly, allegedly wanted Quavo out of the way because he embarrassed him because he leaked the video. So I don't know if, you know, I don't know the whole story about if Jay-Z had already told people he wrote the song or not. I don't know. I don't know that part. But they're saying that um, Quavo wrote the song and I guess Jay-Z was going to try to, you know, you know how they do business, okay, y'all? And um, I guess he wanted to write with it and he... Maybe he was going to push him to the side and make it look like he did not write it and pay him under the table and let him go about his business. But this guy even put his son, his name, his last name in the song. <laughs> you can, it, This is tripped out, y'all. We about to get to it. It's a lot of stuff going on right now, y'all. People are being thrown under the bus right now. Snakes is literally snaking snakes right now. Just like I said, it was coming up in the numbers. And like I told you, I have to throw some numbers up here. So, now we have Dolph. Dolph was throwing up all kinds of subliminals in his videos of the people that he had, you know, start dealing with. And he didn't trust them. He didn't trust them, y'all. He didn't. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. He didn't trust them. And he's gone now. But you got to stop dealing with people like this, y'all. You do. You have to stop dealing with people like this. A song, y'all. And it's the same pattern because didn't um this one right here get mad at Dolph over a song too? Because Dolph did a song and talked about him, but never mind. He was talking about Dolph too, so you have to take somebody out over a song. So it seems as if Takeoff had his own mind, and it also seems as if Takeoff was kind of the mastermind in the group because it seemed like he wrote songs. He was the lyrical genius. I'm just saying that was writing music and everything. He was, you know, that person. And he had a little arrogance to himself. So he recorded it. He recorded, y'all. And you got to think about this. You're listening to Jay-Z and Beyonce practice the song over and over and over till they get it right. Like, the, remember when Michael Jackson was dancing and doing his little steps, learning... You know, before he go on tour or whatever. And he have the practice and all of that tape up. Well, this is like the music version. They were practicing. On learning the lyrics that he wrote. And I guess he didn't want that personal video out. He don't want somebody taping them and then putting it out like that. Without his permission or whatever. Word on the street, y'all. This is what they're saying. I don't know if this is true or not. 
So I'm gonna say allegedly, cause I don't I don't be around to these people. Okay, y'all? I don't be around. But it is making sense now. I told y'all he gotta give up some big fishes. When you are tied to and you know, people are telling me the charges against Puffy right now is serious, y'all. They're even seriouser than taking somebody out now. But this is this is the icing on the cake right here. He has to give up bigger fishes in order for them to go a, li a little bit lenient on him, y'all. To even have a fight out here. Okay, y'all? Puffy has to give up somebody. He has to give up information. And the only way that this information could come out, to me, is somebody close to Jay-Z that know the things that's coming out right now. All of this stuff with the hat and everything just, just coming out. All out in the open right now. Now take off over a song. Cause he released the song, the video, you know, the you know, just the video. Like, I don't know, did he record them without them knowing it? Or did they know he recorded, but they wasn't expecting him to put it out there like that so the world can see um, you know, Beyonce and Jay Z, you know, doing working their little magic instead of him being the genius. He really was you know, reading off a paper and practicing a song, not like his imagery that he put out there. So word on the street is, this is why Takeoff was taken out. And this is why everybody's so quiet, y'all. This is why everybody is so quiet. They're saying, allegedly, 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 that this was over a song, y'all, of why Takeoff was taken out and lined up. And we all know, we all know that um, Jay-Z and Jay Prince and them are friends. The guy that's, that's the fall guy right now, one of the fall guys, um, he was a part of Mob Tabs. He had Mob Tabs clothing stuff on and all kind of stuff. He was in the in crowd. He had a lot of pictures that he had took with them at different places so, why would he just out the blue point his weapon and take off for no reason, y'all? Unless and somebody was being paid to do so, y'all. Okay? They had on fishing gear, y'all, for their birthday. They going fishing tonight or about to catch a big fish. This is what they had on their t-shirts and hats. Fishing stuff, y'all. And this fishing stuff is tied to Bass Pro Shop hats and the same people that's kind of connected with this, you know, something connected with them to Dolph's case too. This is tripped out, y'all. This is tripped out. Everything is coming out now. This is why they stage arguing at each other and allegedly, 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 Quavo knew the whole play this is why he's he started moving up, okay? Because they are saying that their career had kind of like fizzled a little bit. You know what I'm saying? As far as, you know, Quavo, them, or this and that. Of course, Takeoff was going to stay making money because you writing songs. Even if y'all wasn't doing no music, you know, they, they was, the group wasn't doing nothing. He still was making moves, doing stuff. And there was also an issue going on with his label. It's record label, too. And the record label guys, they are all close. And we're having, and this is a known fact, that the record label had a meeting with Mob Ties. After this guy passed. It will be right before us. I'm like that, y'all. So, everybody is walking around all nonchalant and acting like everything is all good. But they might now have something on Jay Prince and them, y'all. Finally, like they might have something on Jay Prince now right now to put one or two or three of them away connected to this case, y'all. Quavo could go to jail for setting up this play like they were pretending like they were arguing. Like it's, y'all, I got to get to these numbers, y'all. I got to get to these numbers. People are taking their own family members out, y'all. 
allegedly lining them up. And I, I know y'all didn't forget about Cardi B. She kept coming forth trying to tell us something. Y'all remember she was like, Illuminati this, Illuminati that. She came out with some stuff a while back. Then she came back out again and she said some old stuff about the Illuminati and stuff, trying to take people out and da 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 then she came back again and said she's always and did she fall back in place again and start doing her little symbolism stuff as well um y'all cardi b was trying to tell people that there was something to ruin she was trying to tell people people were enlisting this number is very important y'all i'm about to show y'all some stuff in these numbers i want you to see Jay-Z in rare form. Doing his sting, y'all. This is the brunch after he was taken out. What is that on his arm? Is that a six? It looked like he had a six or an eight ball or something on his sleeve. Like the bowling alley. Is he representing for the bowling alley, too? He looked like he got a bowling ball patch on his arm, y'all. Do y'all see it? And everybody looking at it like it's something special. And why this guy always around Puffy? He got to be the biggest um, swallow. He got he to gotta be the biggest one of all. He's always with Puffy now. Always around drama and everything. All of these guys are tied together, y'all. I said this a long time ago, and now it's coming into tuition, y'all. Uh, am I saying that right? Yeah, it's coming into light right now, y'all. I said this a long time ago. I was like, it's so many people that don't want people to know that they all tied together, but they really are tied together. And bodies drop around each one of them, and, they, and allegedly they have these meetings because I heard about a meeting um, before somebody had passed away that was from Memphis a while back. Um, cutie pat too. Um, yeah, they had a meeting right before he passed. And boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is some sad stuff, y'all. Everybody that deal with them. And this picture was so eerie to me, y'all. This picture is so eerie to me, it don't make sense. You are looking at Quavo, that person that allegedly now... Help tie up, you know, tie in. Hold on one second, y'all. Okay, y'all. So, we have Quavo was who that, according to this information that's coming out right now about Jay-Z and this whole Qua um, takeoff stuff, we have Quavo now that allegedly have lined up his own family member for allegedly Jay-Z. This is what the word on the street is, okay? Um, and like I told y'all, this information could only come from Puffy if you ask me, but I, that's my personal opinion. Um, then we got the egg man. That the biggest, he got to be the biggest swallow out of everybody, okay? He's always around everybody. But I want y'all to pay attention to the night that Nipsey, the day that Nipsey got into it with somebody at a video shoot with him right here, okay? And another one of their little minions, too. He was around Nipsey right before he passed. He was around Nipsey right before Nipsey passed. Quavo was around Takeoff right before he passed. And Monica was around Dolph before he passed. Y'all do, is y'all, is y'all looking at this? Are y'all looking at this, y'all? This is the eerie picture right here. Seriously. This is telling it in itself. These are demonic people. They're demons, y'all. And Jay-Z then went into this demonic stuff full force. It's like you're looking at Satan itself, okay, y'all? And he didn't got away with a lot of stuff. And I'm going to tell you this. Um, 
Y'all see that hurting that they're putting on um, Puffy right now? Y'all, it's a lot of stuff coming up on Jay-Z. It's a lot of stuff starting to tie to him right now. The streets is talking. People are talking. Okay, y'all? And um, I do believe his friend is talking. Because the stuff that's coming out, wouldn't nobody know this stuff. If you go back and look at some of these pictures now of them with these demon-ass people, okay? Look at her standing in front of the Migos doing as above and so below. And look who's side that's on the so below side. Ain't that, um... Ain't that, um... I'm just saying, y'all. Ain't that takeoff standing right there on that side? Where she has her hands so below it? He's on that side. Quavo is on the upside. That her him. He's on the up, not Quavo. Yeah, what's his name, y'all? So I keep forgetting this one. But him, he's Cardi B man. He's on the other side. So is that was their way to move up by him being taken out? Because this is what it looked like, y'all. This is what it looks like. And look who dibbling and dabbling with her too. Y'all. Same demon. This is why Usher is about to go down. Usher, he's... They turn Usher out and he like it. He like it. He love it, y'all. He loved the stuff that was going on. Didn't y'all hear him say? And they was like, did your mother know about it? Blah, blah, blah. He was like, no. His mom and them didn't know what was going on. He was having a good time. He was partying. That's what he said that he was doing at, what, what 13? Y'all, Usher is knee deep in it. And he's enjoying it just like R. Kelly enjoyed what he was doing, just like P. Diddy enjoyed what he was doing. This one right here is going to go down too. He's going to go down too. I don't know if he's going to do some jail time, but because um, they might work some type of deal out. But it's definitely some stuff or brewing with the whole him passing just a beaver to um Puffy. Y'all, it's a lot going on. It's a lot. Now, one of my subscribers, the Black Dunny, shout out to Black Dunny. Um, Black Dunny said, Dolph talking to my scale, pause at 117. And when I saw that 117, it made me think about the day he passed, the 1117. That made me think about that. And he said, and he said, uh, what he is saying is puffy. And at that time, the eyes is being displayed. So when you go to talking to my scale video of Dolph and you stop it at 117, he's telling you. He's telling you right here, y'all. He's telling you. He names puffy right at this mark and then he puts this pyramid picture up. He started messing around with the wrong group of people, just like Nipsey started hanging around them and he was taken out right away. Everybody that started hanging out with them that they don't feel like they want in their club. And I knew they wasn't going to want Nipsey. When I started seeing pictures of Nipsey around them, you know, the pictures that I seen, I knew they wasn't going to let Nipsey stay in that inner circle. They let him get a feel of it, and they were trying to get a feel and get all his ideas out and find out all his business. And then afterwards, they wanted to get rid of him, in my personal opinion, and take over all his stuff. Word on the street is Jay-Z now took over his clothes stuff. I know Empire has a lot of his clothes stuff on their um, web pages and everybody. Like, everybody made money off this man's passing that he was doing business with. And they were lying to him that everything was going to be cool between him and um, Yo Gotti. And it was all a setup, just like Mo 3's was a setup, too, making him think that, you know, you can hang out, you know, do some music with your ops and all that stuff. Then we, we squashed everything for y'all. This is what, you know, some of, you know, probably the old heads get together and lie when they want to help line somebody up. And now these people' names is coming up now in these cases. Do they have something now on? I'm just saying, y'all. My task now. This was the song right here that he wrote. Ape Shittaka. 
okay and he the release day the release date of the song was june the 16th 2018 this was the release date of the song and it says genre trap and remember Dolph was saying that um he was in a trap too remember i was telling y'all about that video he did with trap trap boy called trap he was telling y'all he was telling y'all ape shit a song when you put that in look what pops up two three two y'all two three two it pops right up so skull and bones okay now let's get to some nitty-gritty right here I, wa I wanted to show y'all something because i put this in um the date calculator Put it in a date calculator. And Ape Shittica comes out release date. Like I said, it's June. Let's make sure I got the right date. June 16th, 2018. That's the release date. And he passed away November the 1st. And I want y'all to just... Pay attention to this November the 1st. Um, did I mess up my pictures? I think I messed my picture up, y'all. Let me go back to it. So we got June the 16th, y'all. June 16th is the day of the release date of Ape Shittica, the song that he allegedly passed away over. He passed away November the 1st, 2022, and it's 20... It comes to 44, y'all. comes to 44. Four years and four months. This is what it comes to. The time in between is four years and four months, y'all. I went to the, I had to go outside a little bit, y'all. We had some trees, okay? That's why I'm a little bit off, but I'm back, okay? Um, Yes, four years, four months. They got at 44, okay, y'all? He passed away by the numbers. The only person that would know that Jay-Z made sure that he lined up takeoff by the numbers would be somebody close to him, okay, y'all? Somebody close to Jay-Z would only know this. And the only person that's in trouble right now is P. Diddy. Is he telling, y'all? So, if you put in June 18th, I hope y'all can see it. Wait a minute. Let me make sure y'all can see it. If you put in June 18th, 1984, the day that uh, Takeoff was born, and you put in June the 16th, the day that Ape Shittica, um was released, comes to 33 years y'all 33 years apart i kid you not um i found a lot of this stuff odd that lined up by these numbers and like i said the only person that will notice is somebody close to you this is why i tell y'all right now somebody is snitching they tail off okay y'all they is telling everything so they could try to get off right now, okay? Now, if you put in June the 18th, which is today, 1984. I put in the wrong picture up there, y'all. But June the 18th, 1984 is Takeoff's birthday, okay, y'all? And you put in November 1st, 2022, which is the day he passed away, it's 38 years. 38 years, y'all. 38 years. Take you out by the numbers. There you go. Um, Y'all can't tell me that these are just coincidences. Can't nobody tell me that. Now, this is another thing that tripped me out. November 1st, 2022 is the day that um, Takeoff passed away. May he rest in peace. 111, he passed away on. Okay. Jay-Z birthday, December 4th, 2022, that same year. 33 calendar days. 33 again. There you go. That 33 again, y'all. Okay. Um. Y'all, I don't know. 
Now look to the right side and you see June 18, 1984, which is the day he was born. Okay. And then you put in June the 16th, 2018. Okay, y'all. 2018. This is when Ape Shitika was released. And it's 33 years, y'all. 33 years. Both of these come to 33. That is in his numbers right now, y'all. I had to go to the numbers because I wanted to just see, do the numbers line up with what I am being told? And it does, y'all. It does. November 1st, 2022 is um, the day he passed away again. And like I said, December 4th, here go. I put the pictures up here so y'all can see it. Takeoff's day he was born. Not the day he was born, but November the 1st, his birthday, 2022, the day he died, number, November 1st. Y'all, I'm feeling good. I'm getting mixed up, but I'm feeling good right now, okay? November 1st, 2022 is the day that Takeoff passed away. And Jay-Z's birthday, the same year, December 4th, comes to 32 calendar days. If you put it in the date calculator. I said, this is weird, y'all. This is so weird, it don't make sense. And get this, y'all. Remember I was telling y'all my day ones, twos, and threes? Remember I was telling y'all about the number 28? And I was telling y'all that that 28 was popping up on everything. Stuff was popping up on a leader world behind, all kind of stuff. And um, that V series and stuff I was telling y'all about, 28 was popping up. Well, 28 popped up, too, on his numbers. So I put in December the 4th, 2022. Jay-Z birthday in 2022. And then I put up to um, take off next birthday, which would have been June 18, 2023. And it was 28 weeks. So I want to I want to show y'all what the 28 comes to. Because I went to it. Triangular popped up, which is every, the same thing that Dolph was putting up. Letting y'all know this is who did get, 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 get him. Okay, y'all? He was letting everybody know, putting all this stuff up in his videos that the Illuminati got him. He started talking about God. Can he please save him? Just like Mo3 was talking about God, too, before they took him out, too. He knew he had got himself into some mess by just calling himself, letting his guard down, agreeing to these people, and going along with what the lie they was telling them. Oh, you go and do these songs with your ops. Mo3 doing in videos, doing songs and everything with people he don't even mess with. This is what his manager had him doing before he got taken out. Because it was all a lie for him to let his guards down. Okay, y'all? New York equals 28 too, y'all. Where is Jay-Z from, y'all? He's from New York. That equals 28. Uh, Bermuda, ain't that's where they go? The Bermuda Triangle, that's where nobody comes back from. That's 28. Um, K to the I-L-L -L equals 28. Lucifer equals 28. Don't ain't he uh, ain't he Satan, y'all? Just just might as well call Jay-Z Satan, okay? That's what he act like. Um, money God is popping up. 28. He's always throwing up the pyramid. And they also have pictures of him standing by money, you know, money side with the little pyramid on the back of the bun dot, you know. Yeah, they got that on there. Um Money God Bye bye equals 28. You put Takeoff's real name in. And this is what's popping up, y'all. 28 equals bye-bye. Snake bite. He was bit. He was snaked. And from what they are telling me, and these numbers are saying, he was snaked by his own family member, y'all, to move up. This is why all of a sudden they, you start seeing people coming to the branches after takeoff was taken out. So they can move up. And this is one of the reasons why Cardi B is got one foot in and one foot out. And somebody just came in my comment section and said this. This caught my eye. Somebody was like, um, Beyonce just, she trying to reach out to Cardi B now. So why all of a sudden she taking interest in Cardi B? Unless she about to line her up. Because I know what I heard on that tape, y'all. 
And Cardi B was telling. And she's been telling for a while, but she still turn around and do the same little Illuminati stuff to make people happy around her. But at the same time, you telling. Y'all. Look at this. Ape Shittaka equals 33 as well. And it equals 111. And it equals 666. Okay, y'all? This is Ape Shittaka. Was he sacrificed for Satan? To Satan? Y'all, I'm just saying. Y'all remember when I put up World Trade Center, all of those people that were sacrificed on 911? Remember New York and Mark of the Beast came up too? That came up too under 111 as well. Just like this song that he allegedly passed away over. Okay? Kersnick Kari Ball. Okay, y'all? I put this in. When I put in his name, music to be taken out by. I hope y'all can see it. This is what popped up. 291-1746. These same two numbers right here. Music to be taken out by. 291-1746. 291-1746. Reverse and reverse Sumerian. Under his name. Okay, y'all. Um, Michael Air Jordan popped up too. We all know that's the number twenty-three, sacrificial number. Okay, skull and bones twenty-three. All right, y'all. The Titan submersible. Do y'all remember the Titan submersible? When them people went down there and um never never came back. Y'all remember that the the, the it sunk, or uh, uh, blew up or whatever it did. Sinking of the Titanic, 111. Mark of the Beast, 111. Okay, y'all? Leonardo DiCaprio. He was born on 1111. Okay, y'all? November 11th. Look at that 4884, his age. He's going to no doubt go out by the numbers, too. Because his numbers line up too perfectly with these numbers. So, yeah, he's going to go out by the numbers, too. Okay, y'all? Um, Los Angeles at that. Well, all of these autopsy reports are coming up from people that autopsy, you know, people then passed away. After they do the work, put the work in, they pass away. Well, all these people allegedly is passing away at for allegedly pneumonia. Okay, y'all? Kim Porter and all these other people. Um... World Trade Center, 111, New York, 111666, Mark. The same numbers. Sink ship, the Titanic. The Titanic release date is November 1st, the same day that um, takeoff ship sank. Okay, y'all? Same day, y'all. Silence of the Lamb also popped up, y'all. Silence of the lambs. Behold, I send you out as what? Sheep among the wolves. Okay, y'all. His own family member brought the the sheep to the slaughterhouse. Okay, y'all. Word on the street. This is what they're saying. That was all lined up so it could be lined up by the numbers. And people were paid, y'all. Not only pay in cash, but pay in stepping up. Okay, y'all? And then y'all start seeing Quavo at the games all over the place. Did y'all peep that? Look at this, too. This came up under his numbers, too, y'all. Kersnick Kari Ball. A deal with the devil. Y'all see it? He did a deal with Jay-Z. He wrote a song. For Jay-Z. And Jay-Z allegedly don't want nobody messing up his reputation. If he got a reputation for being a genius, he listened to a beat and just let the, it just flow. So if he took somebody out for showing that that's a lie, he practiced songs, people write songs for him. If he took somebody out for outing him, 
Was he, that his deal with the devil? You stop. You saw that lady standing in front of him with the as above, so below, and he now he's so below. Okay, y'all. You have to pick and choose what you're gonna be around. Well, that mojo gonna jump up off of it on you. Okay. You were at these parties with these Satanists. This is what was going on with takeoff, y'all. You were at these parties. You were in the same look. You were trying to be in, in, in crowd with these people. It's three of y'all. It never dawned on y'all that they going to want one of y'all up out of here. It never dawned on y'all. Another one that been hanging around them, that new addition, uh, Bobby Brown. His name popping up too, y'all, and some stuff. But this is with his own family. We're going to have to do a video on that. It, this is crazy, y'all. Was this his deal? Look at all these numbers that lined up with his name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbers. It's lining up with these numbers over here. That's half, y'all. That's half of the numbers. Take off made a deal with the devil. And was the devil Jay-Z, y'all. Because his name is popping up. And this popped up too. Leave it all behind. So first you got Bye Bye and all this stuff popping up. And now leave it all behind. This made me think about that movie, Leave the World Behind by Obama movie. And then they said, Orange is the new lemon. And I thought about lemonade when I heard that. I said, Lord have mercy. Because Jay-Z wasn't just on the song. Beyonce was on the song, too. So they're basically saying that allegedly Takeoff's passing is tied to Beyonce and Jay-Z now. Um, Holy Grail bloodline popped up. One, two, three, four of the numbers, y'all. Four of the same numbers popped up. Holy Grail bloodline. And we all know that Jay-Z has a song called Holy Grail. Um, can't make this stuff up, y'all. This is the song right here, Ape Shittaka. Okay? And I noticed that if you look at the credits, it only has Quavo and um, Offset on the paperwork. It don't even mention the person who actually wrote it. So that seemed personal to me. Because I don't see it on there, y'all. Maybe I'm overlooking it. I don't know. But I looked on the thing and it said it's giving them, you know, I guess... Uh, the credit for you know them two being on the song with them i guess but i don't see anything yet with um take off name on there and he's supposed to wrote this song he even got his name in here in the lyric give me the ball give me the ball take the top shift ball 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 ball, ball. he put his last name in it kersnick Kari Ball. He made sure he put his stamp on this song. And I don't see anything about his name popping up. So that tells me too that it's some hating stuff went on with the situation. And he felt some type of way about him recording him and Beyonce. He passed by the 3-3 number and the 4-4 four, four number. Y'all. He passed away by the 38 number. Y'all, Shitaka is about to hit the fan. This is why I was telling y'all, um, Buffy better start having his kids, um, having a lot of security around them. And the more that, you know, things is kind of spiraling out of control and this and that and that and this with this whole situation, um, I think he should just let the kids go stay with, you know, Kamora, let the girls stay with her. And just be out of the limelight and all that. And stop putting them all out on forefront line. And making up fake pictures. And acting like, you know, everything is okay with him. Because um, this is serious. He is holding the key to a lot of people's lives. That has money, y'all. And a lot of people is saying, is he going to, you know, something just going to, you know, mysteriously happen. Just like the Epstein guy, whatever, the guy that went to jail. And they say, you know, he took himself out or something like that. 
But they're saying that, you know, is this what they're going to say happened to Puffy? But really, you know, Puffy being lined up. I'm just saying, y'all. Is people going to pay for, you know, the problem to go away and the paperwork? I'm just saying, y'all. I'm hoping that, you know, there's some justice. But, you know, people running around here playing. Stevie J, I don't even know why he running around with that big st stupid look on his face. He looked like a rat for real, y'all. Um, Stevie J was hanging out. They they said they showed them hanging out together or whatever and acting like everything was okay and Puffy was acting like he was feeling good and stuff. Um, he scared out his mind from what I'm hearing. I'm, I'm hearing he is scared, y'all. He is snitching and he's scared and they're trying to you know, put on a front to the media that everything is okay. This is what I'm hearing, y'all. Um, this serious. This is serious, y'all. These are bodies that's being lined up. They they let they piling them up, y'all. How many bodies do um Puffy have to give them for them to let him off of life in prison? How many bodies is he gonna give up? Because right now, it's looking like it's going tip for tap. Like, they are, for Dolph stuff to come out, and this whole ties to, you know, this clothing line and all of this stuff, um, these weapons and all of this stuff, it's, it, it made me wonder about takeoff, you know. They said that they got a weapon from him. I'm wondering, is those weapons tied to? I'm just saying, y'all, the pro, the pro shop place. Is that where they bought it from or allegedly stole it from? Because when they want some gun, I mean, you know, weapons off the, you know, the pop-up missing. That's the storyline for the day. Oh, somebody broke into the outlet store. And this is their way to give it to the people on the streets to help go handle business. Okay, y'all? Um, We got some, some seriously messed up governments, um, people that's in place right now that it, it seriously needs to be some changes done in, in the White House, um, everywhere. It just needs to be an overall just, just y'all, transformation to take place right now. People need to go down for the stuff that they are doing, and we need we, it, the streets needs to be cleaned up, cleaned up, y'all. And they are saying that the reason that this stuff is so serious about Puffy and this and that and, that and this, they're saying it's because um, this tied to little ones and stuff and this trafficking stuff, y'all. And they're saying that it's deep. They, they're saying that they took, you know, people over to the islands and all kind of stuff and all kind of stuff, y'all. Like, people who's really hostages, okay, y'all? And the inner circle of some of these people. And it just makes you think about Dolph. What all did they do to Dolph, y'all? Um all of them didn't like them. All of them was on some hating. And they got some true, true, serious hating energy that is sad, y'all, for their own people. It's sad that you will um, do this to your own. I think about Prince. Soon as he signed this deal with Jay-Z, he was out of there right afterwards. You just, you have to think about everything in the inner circle of everybody that, you know, them partying upstairs while Whitney Houston, y'all, Whitney Houston, you know, her voice was angelic. Okay, y'all, Whitney Houston, they partied, y'all, they partied while somebody was doing a ritual on her downstairs and setting the room up to make it look like just like Dolph's situation Whitney Houston room was staged to me I'm just my personal opinion her her room was staged too just like Dolph the cookie shop stuff staged and to be honest with y'all Dolph walked in there so many times he walked in there so many times to support them that even if they did have a video of him walking in that vi in that store, that cookie shop, how do we know that that was from the date? Okay, y'all. 
it's so you know and, and we still don't, never got an even chance to see that that much but i do believe that's what they probably did if you know i'm just saying y'all there was some doctoring of some you know i'm just saying y'all some editing going on that's what i truly believe when it comes to Dolph. this stuff is crazy and then the street associates is tied to these you know these demons so then you have to worry about the street associates you know what i'm saying like the, the gang stalking y'all okay this is when that comes into play and at the same time they're doing this to bring down their own races and their own people now you are being replaced you're being replaced y'all the hood is being replaced got some new tadpoles in town okay y'all while everybody else is going at it with each other there's some new tadpoles in town coming up and they they hustling right now they just came over here they're hustling but wait till they get to the status of the people that you grew up around and this and that and, that and this and they didn't got established here and making money in this and that and, that and this wait wait for it y'all it's about to be crazy out here, y'all. And if people don't stand up to this mess right here, um, it's gonna, it's not only going to be bad for, you know, minorities and stuff like this. It's going to be bad for everybody. Even the rich that think that they can have out in their rich neighborhoods. Or when they come out, they, they think, oh, I got security with me. Like, yo, Gotti and them and this and that and Angela Simmons and them. And think that, oh, I got security now to come out with me if I go out. Blah, 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 blah. People don't mind taking out security. They don't. When you're out here doing this dirt, you don't know how this is going to come back to you. You don't. That's why you shouldn't be doing it. It was enough money out here for Dolph and Yogati. To both ball out of control, and when they run into each other, show each other some love and keep it pushing. They from the same city and state, and if you don't hold up your own city and state, ain't nobody else gonna do it for you. Other people will get with you and help you keep your city and state down by keeping beefs going on with you and people in your city and state. All of the stuff that was going on with King Von and FBG Duck and all of this stuff, it was so stupid. Both of them from the same neighborhood made it. Made it, y'all. And they both is gone. And they both was tied to people that's around people right now that's helping line people up too. Okay, y'all? Um, which make it seem like that that was a, a plan to get rid of both of them. Okay, y'all? Because they were going to help a lot of other people. They were going to put people on. And even if they wasn't beefing with each other, they could have did some really, really big things for the city together. Okay, y'all? And Lil Dirt. But now Lil Dirt, they are gone. Lil Dirt is hanging out at the white parties. And being sick for weeks and months afterwards, y'all. And listen to the stories we're listening to about what they do at these parties. To give you something and then you wake up the next morning and you back door hurt. Okay, y'all? It just makes you wonder, you know, is it worth it? Just so you can go on vacation with Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys' husband is in those pictures too, y'all. With all of the, you know, the brotherhood, y'all. Who all ain't about to go down right now, y'all? Because it's a lot of stuff coming out. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff coming out. 
But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to let y'all know what was being said right now. Um, they're saying, um, same people has something to do with Dolph. Same people that has something to do with takeoff. Word on the street. Okay, y'all. Um, I'm saying allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But now it all makes sense. It makes sense that, you know, why Carly B was trying to tell people about the Illuminati because she knew what was about to happen to Quavo, um, take off. She knew. And if she knew, the other two knew too, the Migo guys, they knew. And where it is, played a part. This is crazy. It's starting to look like, you know, um, Offset didn't want to be blamed. So he just pushed away from them too. After that, he found out what the plan was. He pushed away from them a little bit. Like, let me back away from them. If they take him out, it's going to be his own family member. I ain't about to have nothing to do with that. It makes sense now, y'all. They're going to blame his own uncle. They're not blaming me. If he line them up, it's going to be on him. But I ain't about to be the one to do it. When did they stop talking, y'all? Because if they stopped talking around the time of this ape song came out, that's telling too. Uh, what's his name? Offset. Offset. And after he's been taken out, y'all, y'all notice how everybody getting along now? As if the bad apple was gone. If anybody know, please leave it in the comment section. When was um Offset, when did he separate himself from the Migos? Because if it's around that time, y'all, if it's around that time, y'all already know. And then remember the the um Paul session that Quavo and um Offset had at the awards or something like that. That could have been because he went along and did the deal, and he was mad at him for going through with it. That's could have been why, y'all. It says Migo. Why did Migos break up? And this story came out. Migos' final project together was. June 21st. So, yeah, this was before this was before this was before that he was taken out cuz he was taken out November 1st. So, there's a nice little time piece, of like a year. And they like to make you comfortable. Oh, they like to make you comfortable. That's why they made Mo 3 comfortable. Okay? They made Dolph comfortable thinking he could come to that cookie shop. This is what they do. They make you comfortable. And then they line you up. Remember I said they was lining it off up a year prior? Remember I said that? Early in that year, they had started, right after Mo 3 passed, they started working on Dolph. They got Dolph out the way. Took them a year to get him away and line him up and everybody to make music off of the money off his music and this and that and that and this. But it took almost a year for the line Dolph up. It took a year and a month or so to line up take off. Mo three, it took the, the the longest. They 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 wanted to make sure they had something funny to laugh at. They were, they was laughing. It was so funny to them to watch him on that video. But watch God work, y'all. Keep working now. Look at this stuff that's coming up. This is crazy. Now everything is making sense. Everything is making sense. They got one of their boys to take out take off. They got paid for the hit. And people moved up in rank. And the other guy, he just a fall guy right now. But it's going to come out, y'all. It's going to come out. Because somebody's telling this information now. And they saying this was for a song that he embarrassed Jay-Z and Beyonce by leaking a song. And it wasn't even a song. It was them practicing, learning the words to the song. And he felt disrespected bad, y'all. This is what I'm hearing. Anyway, y'all, um, let me know. Allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. 
and thanks for watching. Gotta go get me something to eat. I'm starving. All right, y'all. Peace.